What up, dog? It's Payroll Giovanni, and you watch it flooded with ice. I'm gonna give you a look at some of the jury, give you the meanings behind it and all that. By love. Yeah, man, yeah, man. All right, let's see what we got here. I don't know what all I grabbed, I just grabbed the shit that was put up. How did I get into jewelry? Man, I don't I really don't remember. Like, I've been wearing jewelry since uh, since I was born, for real. Like, I think I, I came from the I think I came from the hospital with uh, a chain on. And uh, man, I just been in jewelry forever. Like, as far as I can remember, my parents was heavy in jewelry. You know, so they had me into it too. Yeah, yeah. My first chain that I remember was a, uh, I think it was a gold Mickey Mouse. And I had a uh, No Limit Charm. Uh, I had a Timberland sign, like the sign to be on the Timberland boot. I had a, a chain like that. Uh, Heron Bones, the Byzantine with the coin. Uh, I probably was about like second grade, some second, third grade. You know, that was like elementary school. Like I said, I've been wearing jewelry forever, so it's like different ages, you know, where I had different jewelry. That's about, that's probably about as far as I could remember. Classic chain to me, of course the, the Jay-Z, the Rockefeller symbol. That's, that was, that's always gonna be a classic. Uh, on some, on some local, like, Man, it's a, it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? I grew up seeing a lot of dudes with, with you know, memorabilia pieces on, man, you know what I'm saying? But the Cheddar Boy head, for sure. Uh, Blade Ice with Cheddar Boy head. head. This the 41 p charm right here, you know? I got the back, uh, Mother of Pearl, my name on the back. The 41 got the little emerald stone for the for the hyphen. Uh, my man Znari did this. This charm really old as hell. But still look good though. It's a classic piece, timeless piece. The FA, Finkel Ave, you know, that's my neighborhood. This another one that's old as hell, man. You know, uh, Strathmore Block on the back, RP, RJ on the back. That's my man's I grew up with. If you listen to the music, you familiar with it. You know, you familiar with RJ. But uh, you can see how old this is, man. You see how long this, this motherfucker is. It's come down here, you know, them, they used to be bragging rights. Like when your chain hung, hung down to your nuts, uh, the longer your chain was, the longer your money was. But now, nah, you know, it's all about the short chains. By luck. You know, this is originally uh, white. I got it rose, you know. It's just a big by lug piece, man. I wanted, I wanted just something to just represent the crew where no matter where you was at, you could see it. You know, cause I was, uh, I was out of town in the club and we was just going crazy. And DJ was trying to shout us out for going crazy, but he didn't know who he was. And I'm like, man, I need a charm so they can obviously know who he is, even if they ain't here. So that was the whole motivation behind that one. Boss your life up, gang, ENT piece. Payroll Giovanni on the back. Uh, this is like influence from cash money. You know what I'm saying, the cash money piece. It's the label, by Lug ENT. My man's Gary did this too. Gary did like the by Lug. he did this. He did all my jury except for the P and the uh, FA. Um, then a Bilug bracelet, you know, Bilug, it's say Bilug about three, four times or something. 
This is just, this is just hella gaudy, man. I barely wear this thing. It's super gaudy, you know. But when I'm feeling, feeling ignorant, man, I throw all that shit on. Strathmore block charm. That's the block I'm from. Strathmore Finkel. Got my address up there. My old address. You know, rose gold. I actually drew this out. You know, I showed it to Gary, and he made it just like how I drew it. It's probably my favorite charm for real. I love this charm. Payroll Giovanni, you know, just clean, clean charm, just cursive payroll Giovanni. I barely wear this. I'm really about to start wearing it more. But uh, just, a clean, just something clean, you know, clean and classy. Pay face charm, uh, you know, this is uh about an album me and Hella were made together. Uh, you know, Pay Faces, it went crazy. Fans loved it. Actually, this was really a gift for my mans, my, my Cali mans. I mean, he, gave, he gave me this for my birthday, man. Shout out to my mans, Neff. You know, Pay Face. I barely wear this too. I'm about to start, start rocking that too. The, the Long Live Rock piece, you know what I'm saying? Got rock picture in there, the, the classic OG gangster picture. Then, but this just trying flips on the other side. It's RJ, you know what I'm saying? So I got both my both my niggas with me. RJ on there, rose gold Cardi on. Got rock, buff song, minked up, and all of that. You know, it's probably one of my favorite pieces right now. I've been rocking, clean and classy. Ain't doing too much, but. Doing enough at the same time. Then the, the diamond chain, you know, you can't go wrong with a diamond chain. An all diamond link. Talk about how niggas be having a fake one. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, I don't know. Talk about how niggas be having a fake one, but real Oh yeah, the, the fake ones for sure is easy to peep, man. You know what I'm saying? You know it's fake. Really, if it's just doing too much, it could be too big or whatever, man. And this shit ain't cheap, you know what I'm saying? These chains cost a lot of fucking money, man. Like, these chains, you you, you, you got to spend about a 20 bar to just jump in the diamond, the diamond game chain, man. You know, the diamond chain game. But uh, it's just a little classy, clean one, man. This ain't doing too much. It ain't too big. It ain't too gaudy. Just something clean, man. I put numerous pieces on that one. I put a rose piece on it, I put a white piece on it, whatever. The presidential Rolex, the 41, the Date 8 2, you know what I'm saying? White gold. Uh, Gary did this, man, you know, bust down. I really miss it being plain, but, you know, I busted down. This is the uh, this is a face I had in it. But I, I ended up taking it out though. I started. I miss my old face. You know, I think the face was doing too much. Look cleaner this way. Two six seven six piece. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the mob got these. You know, uh, man, it's really like out of all my chains, it's probably the biggest conversation piece. Like if I if I'm on a plane. Uh, the restaurant or something, people ask me like, what does it mean? And um, you know, if you if you're familiar with the music, you know what I'm saying, you you familiar with 2676 and what it mean. And uh, if you ain't, shit, it ain't for you to know what it mean. <laughs> you know, but this basically like uh this basically if I forget my ID at the crib, man, I got this chain on, I'm getting in the club for sure. This chain to get you some places get you access in some spots, man, you ain't never been to. I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something, man. I don't know. You know my jewelry be all over the place. Like, maybe in my one crib out of town, be, be all over the place, but I feel like I'm missing something. I forgot about these. Oh yeah, the, the earrings, you know what I'm saying? These is like, uh, I believe, uh, two and a half carats a piece. Um, got these from Golden Sun, solitaire stones, man, just clean, K-9, 
can't go wrong. I don't want to do none of that illusion shit, you know what I'm saying, with the the designs and make it look like it's a solid stone. I don't want none of that, man. I'll just give me solid rock. And I might upgrade it to something, you know, I might get something bigger. I don't know. I think these are just perfect size for me. Uh, some other jewelers. I don't know, man. You know, I, I, I be seeing other jewelers work. I, I like it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I just fuck with who I fuck with, man. I don't really be all bouncing around everywhere like that, spending my money everywhere. You know, but it's, it is other jewelers I got good relationships with. And, you know, I go to them for certain items and shit. But, you know, I'm mainly, I'm mainly right here, man. This is just was all just accumulated, man. You know what I'm saying? Over time, ain't like I just woke up and just went and bought all this shit at one time. Like some of these chains is damn near 10 years old. And uh, you know, just just each time, you know, make a couple of hours or something, I reward myself with a little something. But uh shit man, everybody doing jury now. It ain't nothing really nothing too crazy. But yeah. My advice on a jury tip is if you're gonna do it, do it right. I won't wear shit if I can't do it right. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather not wear nothing before I buy some bullshit and some some cheap looking shit. I'd rather wear nothing till I can afford what I want. And uh, that's basically what I've been on, man. You know? Now I'm, I'm really big on diamonds. I ain't really too big on the, the big charms that say this and that. Like I'm really big on like clarity and diamonds now. But that's just where I'm at right now mentally, man. And what I want to do with my money. You might want to do some other shit. Yeah, like I said, my man's Gary, you know what I'm saying? That's my jeweler. You know, that's been my jeweler for a minute. He did all these pieces, except for the uh, 41P and the FA. Uh, Nari did them. Um, you know, Gary, man, I, uh, I used to go up to uh, go to some when I was a little kid. Like my daddy and his mans, they was they used to go up there buying hella jewelry. I was a little kid with them. Just, you know, want to do the same shit when I get older. That's when they was at the plaza. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's a big accomplishment for me to be able to walk, run in there and grab custom chains because back in the day, that shit meant a lot. You had a custom chain from Gold Sun on, man. That, that shit holds hella weight.